Luca, hi, it's Craig from Fix It Fellows, and yes, I'm in the garage. And uh, today's video is a bit different as it's not me showing you how I do things, it's me asking you, hopefully, for some assistance. So um, I thought I would change the central heating pump on my central heating in the house. The old pump was a Grundfluss UPS first series, and it's been in for about 10 plus years. It's doing a fine job, but you know, the ever increasing um, message from out there is that we should be more energy efficient. So I thought, ah, oh, I'll change the pump for something a little bit more environmentally friendly. So I got hold of myself a Grundfluss um, UPS3, which is this pump here. Um, this claims to be much more energy efficient than the older version of the pump. It's meant to be like for like. In fact, the old pump had a maximum head of water, I believe, of five meters, and this can potentially, it claims, do six and a half meters. So I thought, yes, good, that's all good. That's a like for like change. The back of the pump, the body of the pump, if you like, appears to be exactly the same as the old one. Um, so for my purposes, I left the old body in the plumbing system and all I've actually done is changed the head because they fit. Now, what I have noticed is that on the new pump, the impeller is considerably smaller. So here, if I put it down on the bench, you can see that impeller, that's the size of it there. Um, whereas on the UPS first generation, the impeller is pretty much the entire size of that silver element there. So in my mind, this, can shift less water because it shifts water by spinning, water gets pulled into these veins and thrown out. Well, it can't pull as much water in, can it? Because there simply isn't as much, uh, simply the, the size of the veins aren't as big. Um, however, it claims to be as, um, uh, it claims to be a six and a half meter head of water. So I had no doubt in that. But when I've installed this pump into my system, my boiler didn't like it. My boiler said not enough water was being pushed through the system. Now, the boiler knows how much water it's getting, and on the old pump, it was quite happy. The new pump, not so. So I'm now looking at this thinking, have I just got a defective pump, or are these new pumps less powerful? Um, so let's have a look into that. Um, the other thing I've noticed, um, that if I wire up this pump, which I shall do, I shall plug it in, um, here we go. On this new generation of Grunfler's pump, you have a plug like this, and it plugs into the head of the pump. Um, you know, you could argue the merits of, of that, whether it's progress or not. Yeah, okay, it makes it easier for maintenance. You can just unplug the wiring and take the head off. I'm not really sure how difficult it was, really, arguably, on the old system, because on the old system, the wires were done on like spring-loaded clasps, a bit like on a Wago connection, so it wasn't exactly difficult. But hey-ho, this is what we've got. So what I've done is I've wired up the plug. You see it's on this cable here, and it's going over to that plug socket there. So what I shall do is I shall connect this up. Just bear with me a second. Okay, right, let's take the head unit. Let's take the plug. Let's plug it in like so. Let's keep it on the level, because they don't like not being level. If I have this on the wonk and turn it on, um, you'll hear the shaft not being happy. So anyway, let's get it level, let's put the power on, and there you can see the impeller is spinning away. You know, it's not bad, I, I can't really stop the impeller, it's got a bit of torque there, it's not that dissimilar to the UPS first series one, which I've tried this on as well. Um, but fundamentally, that doesn't seem to be spinning any faster than a UPS one, so if it's only spinning at the same RPM, it can only shift less water no that's my reckoning anyway i've got it on the max you know this is the max power setting you press these buttons here okay that's setting one this is on constant speed this is quite a smart pump you can have constant speed constant pressure intelligent this that and the other but you know for my purposes i just need for it to pump as much water as possible to try and keep the boiler happy so let's crank it up to the maximum yeah, the maximum output like that so she's spinning away yeah it seems on the face of it all to be good okay so it leaves me the question why isn't it shifting as much water through my system as my old ups generation one 
Grundfluss tells you that this head is compatible with the old bodies and visual inspection seems to seems to suggest that this is nigh on identical to the old generation one however is it is this where I'm going wrong does this head really need to be on this body are the tolerances between these kind of flanges and grooves in here tighter to, to these moldings does it create you know a tighter fit in there does that affect the fluid dynamics does does this one not seal into the body of the older generation as well and hence this doesn't pull as much water i don't know i mean yes look i could go to the trouble of fitting this in my system but i don't really want to have to go to that trouble yet does anybody out there know uh, uh, are these as powerful as the older generation ones am i going wrong by not installing this what's going on guys does anybody know i'd be i'd be really intrigued to know please leave details in the comments below as to your experience with these pumps thank you very much